Now, I was on your Instagram about two months ago, and I seen you posing next to a Porsche. Um, is that what? What is what is that? Is that yours or you know? Nah, that's my own boy car, man. I just nah, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. Yeah, man. You know that's a little gift to myself, man. You know that's what hard work and dedication do, man. You know. I raised my hand up to God because he parked that new whip outside, man, you know. Took him to church with them one time, man, you know. That's what good show money do, man, you know. This real rap money, son. Like, right. we ain't, we ain't, and I ain't scared to say, nigga, we ain't selling dope. We selling songs, man. We packing our shows, nigga. That's what we doing, nigga. We got the niggas out there selling Mo3 tickets, nigga, pre sale tickets, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm pulling up at them shows doing my thing. Verses and features too, same thing. Like, nigga really trapping with the rap now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more selling dope and rapping. We really trapping with the rap. Like, in real life. Like, you know, you see it. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> when was the first time you seen some real rap money, though? Like, Shot of Reloaded when it first dropped. It so, not the first tape, the second tape. Second tape. First first tape, you know, it was good. It always opened their eyes up, man, you know. It built the foundation to let them know, like, man, let them got something for them. Like, I'm going to fuck with them. I'm going to listen to it. It wasn't really all about the money then. Like, you know what I'm saying? The first tape really wasn't getting no money out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I love this shit, man. It's my testimony. Man. I used to be broke. Like, and I ain't scared to let them know, nigga. Y'all heard it in my song, nigga. I hear it all the way down. You know? You, you ain't really never heard a song with Mo3 talking about. I got big money and foreign cars. And, oh, 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 oh. Nah, I waited till I got there. You know what I'm saying? You know. Are you still making money off Shotters Reloaded? Oh, yeah. Look, look at, nigga, you see it. Nigga, that Porsche came Shotter Reloaded, nigga. I mean, like, are people you know still buying the album? Oh, they buying it. Okay. They buying it. They buying the old one, too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, it's like, it's still doing this thing, running this course. You know what I'm saying? It's doing this thing. Like, How much money do you think you made off of Shotters Reloaded to this day? Like eighty thousand. About eighty about eighty bands? Like 80 bands. Is that shows or just you know, people buying everything? everything? Yeah, about eighty racks. Okay. Uh, eighty racks. You know. And so the money's still coming. It ain't stopped. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like like niggas be like on some shit like, okay, how he doing this and how he doing that? I'm not I'm not doing no shit on the side. Nigga them shows is going for five thousand. You want to book Mo3, it's going for five racks. You know what I'm saying? 5,000 a show. Now, you got to think about it. How many shows have you done seen on social media? You done seen a lot of shows, mm -hmm. right? I'm talking about here and there. That's a lot of five. A lot of party flyers and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on every fly, like, every other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so, like, them, them five bands is adding up. Like, right. you know? So... I now, was, how do you get hot and then convert into shows? Because, I mean, Go Yayo was doing hella shows, too. Yeah. Um... You know, there's other artists in the city doing shows, but you and Go Yayo, y'all are like consistently at least three times a week. Yeah. How did you convert to being hot and to actually, you know, getting the promoters to actually book you? Uh, it's like word of mouth. Like when, when your name is the top of the streets, like eat, sleep, and shit, wake up, Mo3, I keep hearing about Mo3. Like, damn, I keep hearing about Mo3. Mo3, 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 Mo3. You're not just gonna hear that in the streets, you're gonna hear that in the club, you might hear that at the restaurant, you might be at the store, you know what I'm saying? You might be at the. The, the, the hood, tobacco, store buying you some gauze, anything. You, you hear him, Mo3, you hear him, Mo3, 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 Mo3. I'm crazy if it's the kids at school want to get in the car, mom play Mo3. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the club promoters and, and you know, the, the, the owners and everything, they hearing the same thing. Like, who is it? They go check you out, they see the numbers. They go look at the last show you just did. Yeah, they gonna want to fuck with you. They asking every every time, every time they go to, I'm pretty sure they done ask before they even set up the play to even call me. Who should we get? Shit, bring my three down here. And I give them a good show every time. Yeah, I fuck with the people. For real. Right now. Um with that with that Eddie Benz, you know, you pop you cop the Porsche. Um you got some jewelry. How much how much jewelry is that on you right now? That's twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five bands worth of jewelry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hello. <laughs> you got some motivation, man. You know, that's, that's just eighteen thousand. That's just eighteen thousand right there, man. You know that, that's real rap money, though. You know, right? Just walking around like this. You know, we just walk around like this. You know what I'm saying? Our real rap money. This real dedication, right? This real grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, nigga might thought that was a pistol or something. 
Now, now I, I I was in the studio the other night and we had a debate and I'm like, yo, this nigga Mo Three is really getting three to four bands a show. I didn't know you was at five, but I was like, yo, this nigga is really getting rap money. He's really getting shows. He's really, you know, the the, the Porsches, the, the 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 Challengers, whatever the other car you got. Um, I just be I, I, yeah, I got a couple low key other cars. On yeah, the side. yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people they don't they don't really believe that. Like when I tell my dudes on Twitter, like, yo, this nigga, but nah, his Twitter not popping. And that's what a lot of people like to say that it's not, it's fabricated. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to look. I be trying to explain to people like, I'm a Facebook junkie. Before I was rapping, I, I was on Facebook. So you know, you gotta understand. All I, when I got a TDC, all I knew when my brother taught me how to work Facebook, is Facebook. You know what I'm saying? When I did Instagram and Twitter shit, like you gotta get you one of them. I took a long time to get one of them. You know what I'm saying? So like when it, it took me a long time to get it, so now I had to catch up. You know what I'm saying? But them numbers is real. Them I might not have I might not have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, but I got five hundred thousand views on YouTube. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And and promoters ain't booking ain't booking for that Instagram. Not me. Yeah. They gonna ask the street, streets gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, he, he doing his thing. So it ain't nothing made up like nah. I'm not trying to have all the followers, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to follow me, man, on IG, you know what I'm saying? Mo3 Badass, B-A-D-A-Z-Z, -Z. you know what I'm saying? Me, same thing on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't even be getting mad and stressing over the fact that, they, that I don't got them numbers right now. But that ain't stopping me getting this bankroll. All right, you know what I'm now looking back a year ago from today, were you broke? I was sleeping in my car and in the trap when I made her your tongue. And what was that, like a year and a half, two years ago? Yeah. So now when you look back at it, like, is it like, is it shocking that you're making this much money or is bro, it like, I, is it not enough? Bro, I love this shit. I ain't greedy. I love this shit. Because you know what? After after four indictments drop, I'm, 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 I'm fucking around want 10 bands. You hear me? Like, getting five now, I, I, want, I, I probably want 10 after four indictments drop. You know what I'm saying? It's just you got to know your worth. Yeah. I was going for... Seventy five dollars a verse. When shot us, when shot us the first CD came out. For shows, I was going for four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Some shows, shit, I take two hundred fifty dollars. So yeah, yeah, I'm thankful. Right, yeah. right now, oh, I ain't being greedy. I ain't saying it ain't enough. It, 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 it's good right now. It's good. I, I know it, it's more that coming. Right. Uh -huh. The Houston market. It seems as though from the outside looking in, like you haven't really cracked into that Houston market yet. Is that something that you you, you trying to work on doing? Nah, or do you feel like you already in that market? Nah, I, I feel like I'm doing my thing in Houston. Like it's, it's starting, it's starting to pick up. Shout out DJ Michael Watts, man. He just, re, just reached out to me. They just played "Hold Your Tongue" with yesterday. So yesterday on the radio out there, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They uh, they fucking the DJs out there fucking around that gangster little real tough, and then "Hold Your Tongue." You know what I'm saying? So like now, nah, Houston, Houston people, the Houston crowd, like as far as the streets, they been hitting me up. Like they following me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, you putting the shit out there too, I know they looking at your shit too. Mm -hmm. And fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, nah, H-Town, you know, they, they picking up on me and shit, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's all good. Now, out of the 80 bands that you made, what was one thing that you bought that was like, the, the, what was one thing that you appreciated the most that you bought with that 80 bands? Uh... I can't really, I can't really answer that. Uh, I done gave a lot of it away, you know what I'm saying? So I really just a, just a, just thought of just giving it away, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of that money I ain't get to see, like, to myself and splurge and, you know. But I bought a, you know, I bought a lot of shit that nigga ain't never had, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was the thing. You ain't never had nothing. You work to go get what you wanted, what you desired, what you fantasized about. So, yeah, man, you know. Do you feel like, you know, you've been flexing a lot lately. I've been on your Instagram. I've been posting a lot of your flexing on my Instagram, so I know you've been flexing a lot. <laughs> Do you feel like you, you're going to become a target? Because there's a lot of haters in the city. You know that. I've been a target, man. You know, I've been a target. You know, not even just, not even so much for flash. I've been a target off, off, off of music just for the shit I rap about, you know. But I ain't worried about that, you know. I don't think I'm Superman or nothing like that, but you know, for everything, you know, it's a cause and effect to everything. It's on some gang shit, you know. 
So if a nigga ever feel like they want to do that, then, you know, good luck to them, man. You know, real talk. <laughs> do your thing, man. All, all the street niggas and everybody watching this, you know, the ones that don't like my three, you feel like, yeah, bitch, I'm gonna, you know, all I can tell you, I mean, do your thing, make it count. I'm gonna make mine count, you know, so make it count, man, you know. We ain't gonna talk about our lit though, you know. I, I got a little attitude real quick. <laughs> Cause niggas really be hating, you know what I'm saying? Like for what? You know, but do your thing.